So news coming into the commentary area that Redhills has spent forty-six million dollar new signings. Oh, and a good delivery by Rasta. So Rasta seems like he's get gotten rid of the cobwebs. So far it's two overs. And Red Hills is up to 15 without loss. With a very strong batting lineup today, we have the man called LaRue, who was transferred from Hyde for two pounds of yam. We have Jason as well, transferred from Hyde for a bugger hooker. And we have Keno who made a free transfer. So here we have Christopher Columbus trying to discover a wicket. And that was flipped away by Chep Chep. And it's brilliant feeling. Oh, and a good back of a length delivery by Christopher Columbus. This was the man who brought back from in history. A lot of money spent on him. See if he can discover some wickets for Gibraltar. Oh, and that's a loose. Ever slick. Ever slick. Ever slick. We could see with the sun. Oh, and that's a good delivery. Into the rib cage of Timey. Numbers. Oh, and that's a wide. Come on, wide! Anything along the leg side, a wide one. So, time is so far face. 13 balls, and he's on 13. Oh, and that's a full toss. That was a Christmas gift. And time, he decided to honor that gift in November. And Christopher Columbus. Really spoil a beautiful over. They also signed the man called Popeye. He was signed for a lifetime supply of spinach. Chep Chep. You could see that Red Hills come here with a plan today to rotate the strike. So the bowler on the bowler bowling now is the man called Mash Dog. Up to bowl to timey. Oh, and that's another wide. And the score moves on to 26 without loss. We're into over number four. Can Gibraltar restrict this dangerous red hill steep for a low total? Oh, and that's a good delivery. To be honest, it's another wide, but that one was swinging in. With the wind blowing from left to right, it's important to control these deliveries. So it's mash dog again, up to timey. Oh, and that's a better delivery. Outside off stump. So mash dog was purchased for 17.5 million euros. Oh, and that's a good delivery. When we did our in investigation, we heard that he's been paid. Oh, and that was smoke over deep square leg for another six. So far, Timey is dealing in sixes. So the scores move up to 30. Looking at the surface, he is due to team up. Brilliant century tomorrow. So we have one of the most experienced bowlers coming up to bowl, the man called Gregory. Oh, and that's a brilliant delivery. <laughs> so Gregory calling on all his experience. Oh, Line up. 
Oh, and that's a good delivery. Just brushing the outside of Chip Chip. $10.5 million sweatpants. Once again, looking at the Red Hills batting lineup in the pavilion, I have my accountant here checking up the overall transfer fees. So, Gregory, up to Chepas. Oh, and that's a good delivery. So, Gregory calling on all his experience using the wind. That seems like it was the knuckleball from Gregory. Once again, tipping into ball to Chep Chep. Oh, and that's a good delivery. This is very good bowling by Gregory so far. So the score is 33 without loss, and we're into over number five. Ready so far on top. Oh, and that's a wide, and that was a vicious swing by Chep Chep. You could see the fence blowing right to left with the wind, about 200 miles an hour wind. Oh, and that's a good delivery. That one can't be a wide, a brilliant delivery. Batsman going across. So, just a wide spoil that over, no runs was conceded off the bat. So, Captain Reno going back to his most expensive signing, the man called Mashcat. He's the twin brother of Mashdog. Oh, that's a good delivery, swinging delivery. Oh, 
okay, okay, okay. Oh, and that's a good delivery. So, once again, Gregory up to Chepas. And that's another wide delivery. So, Chep Chep showing his ballet, that is ballet talents in the wicket. So, Gregory trying to find a good line and length. Oh, and that's a good delivery. That's smart bowling outside the off stump. So the score is 44 without loss. We're into over number seven. Oh, and that's another good delivery. Also, one of the, the best batsmen we have seen in the league so far, the man called Anthony, who made a sublime 63 in the last match. You could see him itching to go out there. However, He came down 
down three weeks ago via a private jet. And so far he has repaid the investment made by Gibraltar. So Gregory showing all his fitness into his third over of his spell. So Gibraltar losing their first wicket, but this could be dangerous for, for Gibraltar still because the man heading to the crease now is the man called Anthony. This man is coming off a brilliant nap the other day where he smashed 63 from 23 deliveries, including seven sixes. A few of them we have discovered the balls as yet. Jump them ball, Romy. 
Yeah, I'm gonna jump them money. Oh, Like and share to my channel and subscribe to see the next video coming out and hit the icon bell. See? You see the next video when it come out. See? Subscribe button. Right there, so. Yeah, man. Just press it. Yeah, man. Like and share. Watch your views. More and some more views. Give me some more views. See? Yes, the people. Respect our man. So the score moves to 52 for two, and over number 10 has just been completed. So I'm wondering if Redis is considering to convert the next 10 over into 100, but Gibraltar have something up their sleeve because they have called back one of the, the MASH twins. This one is MASH Dog. showing all his gymnastic and his swimming talents so this game is interesting the boys which team will come out on top? Oh, and that was a French cut for single. And the man called 12, moving like a 16 year old across the outfield. This is a man who has about 20 centuries to his name, but so far he has been unable to scratch half his age. Oh, and that was a beautiful shot, but brilliant feeling by Mascat. So score up to 56 for two. We're into over number 11. Oh, and that's it. Right. In the air, can Rasta take it? Oh, and Rasta with the bucket hands. I think that was a poor shot by Timey. Oh, and that was Flick. Um, Larry, who are you talking, Larry? Who that? Check, check. Hold on. Get out of that Shot of them game so far. Back of 
excellent delivery outside of stamp. And Larue was quickly into position with his push cap and smash it away to backward point for four. Misses Fitzroy for 30, Chip Chip for 6, and Andre also for 6. Oh, so the man, the bowler now is Mutaya Mutaran. Mutaya Mutaran, the brother. Yeah, man, the king. Yes, man, the king. Man, good man, good man. Edit the one man. So the man called Dave so far with good bowling. Pops trying to swing for the pig pen stand. So here is Dave up to Pops. Oh no, oh, no, no, and that's no. a wide delivery outside of some regular. So 
once again. Cat coming up to ball. Oh, and another good delivery. So Cat in the middle of a very good spell. Despite dropping a cat so far, he's been unplayable along with Bibbs and Gregory. So Cat up to ball to Pops. Oh, and that was stroked into the offside for another single. This is very good batting by Pops. And the score moves up to 77 for three. So here we have Dave up to ball to Pops. And that's a good delivery just outside of Stump, spinning back. Pops have no idea about that. So Pops sporting in his black top, looking to dispatch something for it is. Oh, and that's a loose delivery by Dave. Not a lot of pace, but he's mixing up the line on length. A 
few snowballs every now and then confusing the batter can pops get the better of him this time oh and that was smoke into the bamboo stand for six that was a brilliant hit by pops that was pop over square leg for six and the Gibraltar 12 man in the man old hack is not happy So was a rust back into the bowling.
The man Jason has just arrived to the crease. Another transfer from the high team. This is two high team playing. It's rivalry. Oh, and that's a. You could see Jason making some advancement to try and dispatch that one. But Cat has won the battle so far. So it's Cat up to ball to Jason. Oh, and that was smashed. That was a gift. That was a real gift by Cat. And Jason was very happy to accept that gift. I get to, I get to, man. God, Romy, man. Them ball enough to pass you, know, man. How are they going? Yeah. 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 Take your chance, sir. Come, Bips, come, Bips, come, Bips. that till I go five, six, five, five wide enough. Take that, Bips. You don't want that, Bips. Now take your time, boss. So here is Bips up to Papai. Oh, brilliant delivery. But at this stage of the innings, everything has to go. So Bibbs, who was signed for 35 million pounds, including private jet transfer from Canada, hope to bowl to Papai. Oh, and that's another wide. So one thing, Gibraltar team has accu accumulated so much wides. score is 138 for 5 with bibs up to ball to papai oh and another wide delivery batsman dismiss we have fitzroy for 30 chip chip for six and j for six so bibs looking to get things right up to ball to papai oh and that was pulled over deep square leg for six. That was a very good shot by Papai. Super batting so far by Riddles to after being struggling at 80 something. They have picked up things and they're into the 140 region already. Oh, and that's another wide, and that will help the scoreboard. I'm sure Gibraltar will be backing themselves to chase this down with the batting talent that they have. So Bibbs trying to get things right coming over the wicket. Oh, and that's a good shot delivery. And Papa decided that he didn't want that delivery to bounce out his spinach. looking to cross the 150 mark they are 146 for five Bibs into the 20th oh and that's another poor delivery but umpire see it fit so here is Bibs Oh, and that's a good comeback. That's a good comeback by Bibbs. Just back off a line, swinging in, missing the stump by a hinge. Can Riddles go past the 150 mark? This is the last delivery. Bibbs looking to find a good Yorker. What will happen? 
Oh, and that's a good shot through the extra cover. And that delivery was this. So I'm looking for Oh, I wrap it up in. Oh, and that's good feeling by the man Carl Phipps. That's good feeling. So that was a good batting display. So just a quick note to Gibraltar. This innings finish at 402. We want to start the other innings in three minutes time at 405 umpires. So Red Hills finish on 147 for 5 with the batsman contributing Fitzroy with 30 Skipper Chep Chep made 6 Andre also scoring 6 LaRue made 13 and Pops with a very very determined 25 but the 28 made by Low was the game changer because that 28 was made from 13 deliveries included 4 sixes and the first cap Dave and Bibbs but can Gibraltar chase this total Inspector, check out the pitch looking at the Gibraltar batting lineup they're without they had 8 wickets for 14 they were blown away for 36 I'm sure Gib but we have the man called Chep Chep to start oh and that's a good delivery by Chep Chep one of these openers will need to bat deep into the innings because this 148 target is very steep with this ready bowling lineup. Oh, and that's another good delivery by Cheppers. Come on, Cheppers! Come on, Cheppers! The last time Cheppers played this same team, he walked away with figures of 8 for 14. What will happen? So here is Chep Chep up to bowl to Holmes. Oh, and that's another good delivery. I'll stitch him on a stitch ball. Him. Oh, and that was well played. And that's a risky single. Oh, and that was poor running. That single wasn't there. That was right to the feeler. And Fitzroy is a right-handed feeler. So he's right to the his right hand. That wasn't there. However, oh that's part of cricket. So the most expensive signing for Gibraltar is entering to the crease. The man called Bibbs who was signed for 35.5 million Canadians. He was fly down via private jet two weeks ago and did his quarantine. And now he's here to try and take Gibraltar to the target. But here we have. So, Chep Chep already piling pressure on the Gibraltar batting lineup. Oh, and that was a swinging full length delivery by Chep Chep. And Dave was with a very good forward. Hey, so we have Larue already trying to check out the ear style of Bibbs with a sharp delivery. But he was up to the task. So here is Larue up to bowl to Bibbs. And another sharp delivery. And that was beautifully played. That's a brilliant shot. That was punch off the back foot. Through backward pine for four. That has joined the shot that Larue played as the 
shot of the evening so far. That's a very difficult stroke to play. So here we have the room. Up to ball to Bibbs with a very good delivery. So news coming to the commentary area that 12 will put up a very good performance today. So let's see. He's under pressure. 20 something centuries in leather ball cricket and unable to make double figures so far. Oh, and that's a good delivery by LaRue. A bit of extra pace. That one beat beeps for pace. So here is LaRue again. Oh, and another brilliant delivery. With Chep Tep showing his volleyball skills. So looking into the pavilion, we see Roma challengers. They are also in this group.
clear. Pops and anti pops. And another poor running, poor running by Dave, and that was out by a mile. That was December 5 we have tickets December 4 we have tickets on sale so here we have pops up to bowl to cap oh and that's a good delivery swinging full leg delivery by pops the cat clipped away two fine leg for four as Gibraltar tried to recover from a very poor start two run outs and two clean ball by Chep Chep Yes, 
So Gibraltar up to 26 for four. Sweating on the last of two unnecessary run out. Single wasn't there. However, that's in the past. It's important they get a partnership together because of So here we have Pops up to Reno with a full length delivery. That was a good delivery. Those full wide Yorkers are very difficult to hit. Mm -hmm. So here is Dapper up into his brown clocks up to Bolterino. Oh, and that was smash over wide square leg for six by Reno. His team is banking on him now. So Pops looking to redeem himself up to ball to Romeo. Oh, and that's a good delivery inside edge. Almost onto the stumps. Oh, good bowling by Dapa. Very good bowling by Dapa. Oh, and that was a good shot. Flicked away. Flicked away. So the, another run out. Cat, it's important, you know. The umpire has given you out. We have to keep the discipline of the game. So here we have Dapa up to ball to Romy. And that's a wide delivery. So Romy looking to steer the ship. Oh, and that's good running so far by Romy. So that's 49. So Gibraltar now moving steadily. Despite losing five wickets, they are 49 for five. 49 for five, including three runouts. I think Gibraltar need to call better with these singles. Yo, yo. 
Discipline, but one man make them feel you know. Feel that. So, this is good bowling by Pops with Reno and Gregory trying to resurrect the run chase. This is a good delivery and well played by Gregory. Chop, chop! Chop, chop! Chop, pass! That's what you get, man! So we're into over number eight. Back into contention. 
Uh, will the Reddills roll over Gibraltar again? So Reddills looking very, very sharp in the field. With five on the offside and four on the leg side. Looking to put pressure on the lower order of Gibraltar. And another good delivery with Mash Dog swinging to the stands. So Redis is firmly into the driving seat with Chep Chep still with two overs up his sleeve and six wickets down. It's a good delivery by Pops. Cutting Gregory in two. There is a lot of over to be bold. Will Reddell's dispatch Gibraltar before the 20 over is over. Oh, and good delivery by Pops. Just back up a length outside half stump. See me, see the cups are clear. Yes! Oh, and that's a brilliant effort <laughs> by the Master. Super Pops. <laughs> Master trying to get out of the way. <laughs> so, once again. It's Pops up to Gregory. And Gregory looking very good with that defensive stroke. But I could hear his team moaning that they need six and fours. And that was a drop catch by LaRue. Laro gazing into the grandstand. So here is Pops trying to get another wicket. Oh, and that's a brilliant shot by Gregory. Inside out, over cover. That's now the shot of the day. That's a top shot. That was on the up. Over cover for six. And I can hear Inzeman saying, Gregory, we need more of those, please. <laughs> so Gibraltar. So Gibraltar requiring 92 runs from nine overs. That's a very gettable rate. But in that nine overs, we still have two from LaRue and two from Chippers. So they need to maximize on the other five. Can Mash Dog do it? So here is Low, up to Mash Dog. And that's a wide. So we're into over number 11. And it's Low. Watch that! Over the Guango tree, stand for six! <laughs> so much dog and Gregory is giving Gibraltar hope of 
for successful run chase. So low looking for redemption. Oh, and that's a broad. That's broader than Broadway. So Gibraltar needing 84 to win. Oh, and that's Mook. Over to the VIP stand for six. And Mustard. Hearing the lady screaming his name in the stands. Has transformed from Mustard to Super Mustard. A lady just came to the commentary here and said she wanted to find out what type of mush dog is it. Is it a poodle? Is it a German shepherd? Is it a pit bull? Oh, and he's swinging to the stands. So Gibraltar now requiring 78. They're back into the chip, chip, chip. So I'm wondering if the ladies' chairs are flying into the head of the dog, mush dog. So with Gibraltar still very, very confident because they have two very dangerous batsmen still in the pavilion. The man called Christopher Columbus who in the last game took 32 runs from Milk Boss over still in the hut along with Wazaras who was a vicious slug sweep <laughs> so here we have Pops up to go to Gregory oh and Gregory without his his eyeglass is struggling to pick up the length. So this is a very, very important segment of the game. It's the 12 over. Oh, Gregory, back on the cross. So we're into over number 12. And Pops already dishing out white. So I can see one of the top down all-star cheerleaders went for went for her Vuzela says he's gonna cheer for Mash Dog. So with Gibraltar requiring 76. Oh, and that's a good delivery by Pops. So it's Pops up to ball to Gregory. Can he get it right? Oh, and that's a super yakalet delivery. Gregory knew nothing about that. Swinging. This run chase is very, very in the balance. 76 runs from eight point something overs. So that's about 40 something deliveries. Oh, and that's into the air. And it's Pops. And a very good catch by Pops. <laughs> so Gibraltar. Very, very good run chase. 75 from 48. It's Larry up to Rasta. Oh, and Rasta. And Gibraltar trying to avoid another run out. <laughs> so now it's 48 deliveries, 75 runs. <laughs> and what Rasta playing his one and only shot. Slug sweep to mid wicket. If he connect, the wild side stand will be in trouble. And that's another wide and those wides help. It's now 74 from 46 deliveries. Can Mash Dog satisfi satisfy his fans? So Laru, 
making a change. Coming around the ricket to Wazaras. Oh, and he's clean ball. And Rasta swinging for the wall side stand. Has made his second duck. After being dismissed for a duck against Top Town All Star, he once again loses off stumps. <laughs> So Gibraltar, I'm wondering if Gibraltar run a risk by sending out the match winner from the last game, All right, Christopher, Christopher Columbus. Columbus, the man who grabbed Milk Boss by the throat and dispatched him for 32 runs from one over. <laughs> Let them know, say they never come for you, Casawaya. Another innings like that, so it's Laru up to Christopher Columbus. <laughs> so here is Laru up to Christopher Columbus. Oh, and that's a good delivery. Come on, and Columbus. Christopher looking very, very rusty. You could see Chep Chep already celebrating. He's oh, and that's a full delivery. And that was inside edge. But Mash Dog deciding that he wants to take strike from the next end. With Gibraltar requiring another 74 runs. The man coming on the ball in attack now. So we have the, the red hills keeper Chep Chep back into the attack, looking to wrap things up. The last time he played Gibraltar, he took eight for 14. Today he has already picked up two clean bowls. Chip Chip, he been in to mash down. Oh, and that was smoke over to the big one stand by mash down for six. And now Gibraltar requiring 68. Can mash down do it? News coming to the commentary here is that once mash down here, the chicks, the lady screaming his name. You know what type of is he? But for now, it's Mash Dog, and here is Chep Chep coming up. Oh, that's Mash! Oh, and it's drop. That's a drop catch. Oh God! And it seems like we, we will have a very good end. Here is Chep Chep up to. Oh, and that's very good play. Come on, Christopher Columbus, man. Lick Chep Chep, no man. Yes. Sure. I can't it. <laughs> so, I think Christopher just needs to stay at that end while Match Dog take off. And that's an... Oh, and that's a brilliant delivery by Chep Chep. That was a swinging rock on that delivery. Uprooting the half stop of Christopher Columbus. All this. All this. All this. Oh 
umpire signal. So we are saying to all the players, before you leave, collect your bingo ticket. It's important we continue to support the Top Town Sports Club as we look to expand the league. The bar is here. Once you drink something from this bar, you're bound to perform. Yo, Chip, Chip, I want you. Queens, I am a bit nice. So we have Chip Chip and that's the end of the over that was a little bit controversial however we need to get along with the game yeah. Yeah, Vix. <laughs> So here we have Laru up to Mash Dog, and that's a good delivery. Mash Dog swinging to the stands. runs another brilliant bowling performance by radials and chip chip they have spent the money and the big name players have performed while gibraltar once again has choked in a run chase i think it was poor planning with this run chase with Reddy's possessing two main bowlers, the entire Gibraltar top order tried to attack those bowlers without considering capitalizing 